Hey guys, Henry with Shooting Star here, and welcome to another edition of uh, Shooting Star TV. Today, rubber bands. What type of rubber band or stowing, uh, line stowing method do you use with your um, with your um, your main uh, D bag? Um, as you can see, I have all the most common types of uh, line stowing. Uh, bands here, uh, your normal regular rubber bands from tandem, large size and small. The large is what you probably will be using the most. This is an example of, of how, what they look like. Um, and this is what you will see around there, pretty much all the drop zones around. Um, and uh, to me, the best ones would be the, the regular uh, rubber bands. Uh, then you have your uh, tube stows. You have your uh, silly rings from Parasport and the silly bands from Parasport. And depending on what type of line type you're using, uh, you might want to get a different size uh, so you get a good bite on your on your lines when you're doing them. Uh, to me personally, uh, like I said before, I like the regular rubber bands because they break when they need to break. And if you're double stowing your lines, if you have a thinner uh, line set on your on your main canopy. You definitely uh, something like Spectraline or or Microline. Uh, you definitely want to double stone them every time, and uh, that gives you with the rubber bands that gives you uh, an equal amount of pressure on the whole bite. Um, so the lines inside are not moving around, especially if you're uh, jumping high performance canopy. You definitely want your lines to stay in place. You don't want anything moving around there because that could cause a really bad opening. Um, so. Personal experience, um, I like the rubber bands. That's pretty much uh, what I use every time. Either uh, regular, um, regular uh, main D-bag with the regular stoves or a semi stoves D-bag, I always use these. Uh, then um, these are um, tube stoves for Dacro lines, thicker lines, tandem if you will, you can use them in there. Um, Widely used, um, a lot of people that use them have gone to the regular rubber bands because um, these will last longer. They will definitely last longer than your regular rubber band, uh, the two stoves, the city rings and city bands. Uh, but the thing is that they, in, in time they will get a little bit tacky um, and a lot of people don't, don't like that so they go with the regular rubber bands again. Um, and I feel that uh, you don't have an equal since, since they don't, don't some don't stretch as much you don't get an equal bite on the on the whole line so um, you definitely want them to break at the end you don't want uh, the um, rubber bands to be holding onto your line so if something's caught in there they, they'll just break and that's it uh, they're designed to to break so um, yeah that's for uh, rubber bands we as you can see we have a little bit of everything for every one for every uh, taste and uh, and whatever works best for uh, all jumpers so um, you can find these uh, on our website shootingstar.com uh, just make sure that you're selecting the proper uh, size for the type of lines uh, that you have on your canopy and uh, well if you have any questions regarding these just drop us a comment uh, down below shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com or just give us a call and we'll help you um, get the proper ones that you need uh, all right that's it for rubber bands today hope you liked it stay safe blue skies